Hey what's up everyone, it's your friend 23 here and welcome back to Zelda Tears of the Kingdom part 12 if I'm not mistaken. And I I figured out after I stopped recording uh, yesterday why I'm doing this weird pose. It's because I have the hat on. I guess I'm like... Um, with the hat I'm blending in as those uh, boco bocoblins. So if we remove it, I think we will stand regular. Yeah, yeah. But I like this low stance swaying back and forth. So it's we're gonna keep this mask on because it's it's so beautiful. And our horse, are you here? I see you there. Last episode we got to this stable and helped the girl over there fix her. Let me just stop my horse. Good boy. Stop once again. Yeah, we helped fix this little thingy. Uh, and now, when we have done that, we're gonna... Oh! <laughs> take off where we were planning on going last episode, before we ran out of time. And that is to unlock this... This part of the map. And after that, we're gonna go continue on the main quest. So let's also... Track it for now, because we're gonna go to the Rito village of in Hebra, and Hebra is to the northwest, as you can read down in the text there. We're gonna start with first that one, and then keep on going northwest. And hopefully... Ooh, that's... Oh! I wanna blow, blow them up, so I can get, get all of them. Nice. Oh, sorry horsey. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Dude, come here. Soothe. Can I soothe you? Nice. Sorry for hitting you. <laughs> I was not on per done on purpose. I had uh, I had a longer sword than I thought on me. Mm -mm -mm. I got a lot of long swords and spears. Off we go. You don't wanna run? Is that the, the dude? Yeah. Nice. Finally we stumble upon to him. Hello, good friend. Those trees over there. So scary. Shalaka. What trees are you talking about? Are these scary? So scary, okay. I think I need to make some type of axe. So we can... Cut them down. Yeah, this is... Uh... Nice. Is that enough? I think so. Shalakala. The scary things are gone. You see me? You see me? My name is um, Hestu. I'm the musician of Koroko Forest up northeast. I am known for my maracas and my dancing. Thank you for your help, Shashaka. To show you my appreciation, I'll do a little dance for you and make your pouch bigger. But my maracas aren't working anymore. The Kuroko seeds inside are all gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? Uh, the children of the forest must have taken them again. Those goddamn children of the forest. If I had even one Kuroko seed, I could sing and dance and use my powers to help you. Then take all my crocus seeds, please. Uh, crocus seeds makes a really great sound when you put them in the maracas, but the seeds spilled all over the place when I broke my maracas. And I think the children of the forest took the seeds while I was in panic. Yeah. Sniff! Hang on! Sniff, sniff! Do you have Kuroko seeds? You do! You got a Kuroko seed from one of the forest children? If you give me a Kuroko seed, I will make your inventory bigger. Yes, please. 
Shalaka. So which stash do you want to more slots in? I guess weapon. Okay, I'll just need one Kuroko seed. Deal. Here you go. Let the expansion begin. I accidentally skipped that. I hope it's okay by all of you. Da, 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 da. Nice. Expand the band, band weapon stash, Shakala. So, so are you happy with it? If you bring me more Kuroko seed, I will expand your inventory again. I will give you all my Kuroko seeds. I'm in the middle of traveling. I'm thinking about heading east next. There's so many monsters this day and that traveling is dangerous. What I like is to find somewhere I can relax. I like lively places, so maybe I'll go somewhere lots of people hang out. Wait a second, you still have Kuroko seeds on you? I can smell them. I'll be here a little longer. Want, want me to make your pouch even bigger? Yes, so bow. One Kuroko seed. I'm gonna... Do as many as I can now. Expand the band bow stash, shakalaka. Oh, look at the time. I gotta get on... I, I gotta get a move on. I'll be heading east soon. I hope I can find a place where I can relax. I still don't have enough Kuroko seed, so... Get out, get out there and find more for me, okay? All right, next time we meet, let's dance together. Oh, so he's gonna go away now. I thought I could use up all those Kuroko seeds. Etzo's profile has been, profile has been added. A tree fairy with a song of, in his heart. He's only visible to certain people. The power of his dance can increase the size of Link's pouches. Uh, but he has trouble keeping track of the Kuroko seed in his magical maracas required. Okay, at least we got some increased slot now. Nice. One more. No. One more, come on. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. Ah, uh, that was not worth. <laughs> if you think about the price for the... for... per arrow. What is happening? Okay, so the dude is going east next time. Where a lot of people are. I guess some type of town to the east. Yeah. Yeah. See if we can get one of these horses just to see how good they are. Yeah. Damn. We could not. Huh. Then, uh, huh. Let's try again. Okay. He's... He's too scared of me now. Can you please go up here? Is it too... Dude, I'm just gonna leave you there. And walk the, the last bit. Did <laughs> got a bit scared there. Didn't anticipate a rock it's coming to life next to me. Will probably happen here as well. Yeah. Oh. So how is this the easiest way to do? Probably should just climb that part. So glide, just to approach it closer. I was wondering if we would count as wet because we were just 
uh, in the water, but it looks like it was okay. Can we use the ascend here? We cannot. That should be fine. Because it was just two two jumps and then we were up. Lindor's Brow Sky View Tower. This was just straightforward. Damn, that that island in the sky looked sick. This one. I think we're gonna go and explore it right now. Surface map updated. Sky map updated. Let's glide to the left for a bit here. this something we should activate with our hand what can that be I'm intrigued Portal of some sort. This is a bit sus. Courage Island. Oh. Let's just jump into it. Ah. Okay. Ah, so it's like a mini game you should fall down. This is nice. Not what I expected, but this is this is a fun little mini game. And what's the reward? A green slimy blob? Or is it a shrine? <laughs> it's a shrine. Nice. So some shrines are hidden. That's a cool little detail. And here is uh, the Bali thing. So before the shrine, let's just... And also this is a perfect place to just... Put a small... Okay, we're gonna have a icon for that already. Nice. Okay, let's uh, offer some things. And see what we get. Where are all my devices? There. Let's just do five at a time. Oh, that's a lot of loot things. A lot of loot. This is something new. Balloon. Nice. And time bomb. A Sonya device for time explosion. It blast can activate other Sonya devices. I see. Some fans. Some balloons. Portable pot. And I guess if we... Yeah, so now we can see... Here you can get all of these. 
So nice that they show you what you can get on the different places. Let's talk to this dude as well. Greetings! Welcome! This is the site of the ceremony to test your courage. Courage is demonstrated by diving headlong through the sky. No challengers have visited this island in a long time. I'm glad you have come. I witnessed your dive earlier. You seem to have come prepared. Now then, let us commence with the dive ceremony. Are you prepared? Sure. Could it be that you don't do not know of the dive ceremony? My apologies. Allow me to explain. The dive ceremony is a trial that tests your courage. It is a rite by which Sonai youth come of age. The starting position is the sky island far above here. The challenger leaps from there. They must pass through all the rings in a set of amount in a set amount of time. I wish you luck luck in the formula overcoming the trial. Those who succeed receive a special outfit to mark adulthood. Go on, show me your courage. Let's do it. Ah, I I perhaps forgot to mention one thing. I require one Sonia charge as offering. Our custom since long ago has been for participants in the ceremony to offer a Sonia charge to the island. No Sonia charge have been provided for many years. We are in sh short supply. Your cooperation would be appreciated. Sure, of course, take it. I have plenty. Then follow me to the starting position. Your task is to pass through all the rings in 35 seconds or less. I'm not sure if I did it in under 35 seconds the first time. I'm gonna cheat a bit there, because I was a bit off. But that's great. We had plenty of time to spare. Your time is 22.10. I have borne witness to your courage. I have here to... I, I have here the mark of your maturity. You have earned this. A glide shirt. Nice. Skydive mobility up. That's great. Uh, you may be able to beat the current record 20 seconds. Will you attempt? Yeah, of course. We will beat it if we don't uh, miss the, the, the start there. And I'm also gonna change clothes in the middle of this. Okay, so start. Change clothes. Did I change? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, now we have so much more mobility in the air. Damn, what a difference this makes. Ooh! Now we almost did it again. Ah yeah, we're gonna fail now. I failed! Damn. Let's try again, let's try again. It's that last one, I forget about the left turn in the end there. Yeah, I know, I know. The trick is to dive as much as possible. I will do it again. Now we have the correct clothes from the beginning. I'm thinking you should dive when you have lined up, go here, nice, and here we don't want to forget the left turn, or it's upwards, yeah, this is perfect, new record, your time is 19.10, this is an astonishing new record, my records indicate that you are faster and braver than any pre previous challenger, I award you to you in honor of your exor extraordinary record. You have earned it. A large Sonia charge. Thank you, I guess. Please tell me your name. I will register it as a record holder. Understood. Your name is Link. I have registered you as a record holder. Will you attempt the ceremony again? Uh, not right now. 
I'm probably gonna do it sometime in the future here. It was fun. And I hope they have more of those mini games spread out across the map. in time I'm a bit tra traumatized from last episode when what was it two episodes ago when I failed uh, the shrine I didn't fail it I I managed in the end but it took a long time to figure out the uh, the one with the big wheels Combat training, okay. This is probably not the most difficult thing to do. This shrine pur purifies the ancient evil. You have to... You, you who have entered here, heed my instruction. Draw your bow in midair to heighten your senses. Focus... Target your enemy with an arrow and release. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. I know how to use a bow. <laughs> Boom. Well done. Hide your sense again, take aim and defeat the, the enemies. So now maybe it's a small challenge. Boom. And boom. Boom. They were all one hit, which was quite easy. You have proven your mastery, now proceed to the innermost chamber. Nice with a lot of loot here. I will drop a spear because we don't need that many spears. We'll probably drop two, two spears even. And why I don't drop this with four? Because it's a magic staff and I want to know if I can use some type of magic. I have to figure that out before I throw it away. A strong construct bow. So let's drop one of these. Light blessings. Nice. So this little island is pretty much done now, I guess. The thing is, we where's our horsey? Our horsey is okay. We have gone south. So I probably should just fast travel. Let's plan our next our next I guess this is the next thing we wanna do, so let's just get on our horse and run all the way there. I feel I wanna really embark on the... Ooh, can we take one of these? 
Okay, the the spotty one. That's perfect. Maybe you're more gentle in your temper. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna abandon my horse. And oh, that's not the best. We needed to go here to cross the river, to cross the thingy. So let's just ignore the horses <laughs> and fly instead. It's gonna take way too long to run down south again and then left. Oh, use the sky tower. Ah, oh, that's stupid by me. And with this suit also we gonna take a lot we're gonna cover a lot more grounds with our falling. Which is nice. So it was pretty nice to getting that suit early. Here we can start gliding for a bit, just to secure us over the... The... What is it called when it's... Is it a ravin or lavin? Oh well, this, this part that's really deep between two mountains. The air has become cold, that's no good. Do we have food for that? Oh, we even have clothes. Um, <laughs> I have forgot. Where is my... But it's still too cold, huh? So we mix that with some cold resistance. Perfect. I'm gonna take aim on that that shrine over there. We also unlock some um, a quick travel destination and this one. Oops, wrong button. Just edit it to that one. Now we actually have to fall for a bit. Did we crash land their little party here? Oh, let's do it. Oh my, I'm stupid. I, I never... Oh. I didn't think about the uh, fall damage. So I think my stamina went out before I landed. If I corrected. Hmm. They don't see me somehow. Boom. Now it's only one dude left. Nice little headshot. Ah, he's not dead. Is that enough? Yeah. That was an easy clear. Boss Boklobin Horn. The band on this sword. Nice. Uh, do we want to attach that to something? I think it would be nice to attach it to one of these. So... Drop it. Fuse. I'm not sure he... <laughs> It became pretty short, so now we have a short two-handed. That's not the best. Baked apple. That bow is no good. But this chest looks yummy. 
Spiked Iron Ball Hammer. Don't mind if I do. was a bit spiky. It must be a... Um, it must be a... Uh, Roku seed up here or something. But I'm not going there at the moment. I'm just doing this so I reach the shrine. A launching device. Mm. The rockets, huh? always I don't usually have to do this but I'm um, it's good to take some extra gear with you if you can before <laughs> we know what to do we have to check it out I think I get it just attach a rocket and slide up with this thingy scuffed but we managed we almost uh, what is happening okay here is and there is that one I think I understand what, what, I, what I'm supposed to do. No. Oh. <laughs> Give me these. Ah, I don't even have to... I'm stupid. I can just attach them on the sides. I was like, I'm gonna attach them underneath, but that's, that's unnecessary. Just attach them like this. I guess two will be enough to take the weight of the... Both us and the cart. Boom. Uh, boom. Oh. <laughs> that was a bit scuffed, but we managed. And I wonder if we can just glide over now. When we have this height. I think so. Nice. That was a short but fun little shrine. Number three. Soon we can get an extra heart container. Has the timer run out? Now we have seven more minutes. That's great. Oh, I really want to take that Karoko CD thing. But I'm just gonna do this. We will probably have something good up there. But not for now. There is a stable. That's a good... Uh, Thing to go to. We can get some pony points, first of all. And second of all, we can also maybe buy some more arrows. 
We should try to sleep in that uh, horse god uh, horse god bed so we can get some some extra knowledge. Bim, bim. We do it all from here. Shh. Tracy, our editor here, is getting ready for our big Princess Zelda investigation. You, you're you here about our newspaper, right? Then you can talk to me too. I'm next in charge. Oh, wait a minute. It's you. I gotta say, you did a... Oh, you did a great... I gotta say, you did a great job getting out here to find us. It's quite a hike from Lookout Landing when you haven't... When you haven't got wings. But here you are. Was it easy to find this place? Ah. Pretty easy, actually. Some folks just pass by with, without a second look. After all, it was a stable until Tracy sheeted the previous owner out of it. Oh, so it's no stable anymore. But you don't miss a thing, do you? Not bad, not bad at all. I assume you came for the job? You want to work for the newspaper, right? I'll vo vouch for you with oh. Tracy. Uh, just picture it. Traveling the world as a reporter, shining light on the truth. We'll be partners out there. Oh. Sounds like a great plan. Hey, quiet! Uh? Don't you listen, Pen. I told you I was busy. Don't you keep bothering me. And another thing, I bought this place from the owner after we came to a fair, mutual, mutually benefic benefic ah, beneficial agreement. Sorry for my mouth uh, locking up sometimes when I read. Could you stop telling people I cheated him out of it? I, sorry, Tracy. But there is a new apl apl <laughs> There's a new hire here for the report job. I wanted you to know. Huh? New hire? Applish apl appliant? Appliant? I I'm not, I cannot pronounce that. <clears throat> Hang out. Huh? You look like <gasps> Lee? Li hey, sorry, Pen, but could you give me and this guy a second here? Do we have a fangirl on our hands? All right, how about you give me the whole story, Link? I'm the editor of the Lucky Clover Gazette here, if you couldn't tell, so don't worry. I know everyone involved with this story. Hura asked us for help digging into what happened to Princess Zelda. Now tell me everything. What exactly brought you here? Uh... Interesting. So that's why she asked you to investigate places seriously impacted by the upheaval. Uh... Well... Coming here was a great call. What I mean is, you're... I need to take a sip of water. What I mean is, we're getting tips from all over Hyrule. So many, in fact, that it's been hard to keep up. And among those tips, we've been hearing about someone who looks like the princess appearing in all sorts of places. Ah. I was ab about to assign Pen to chase those leads but he could use a partner. I won't tell Pen who you are. It's better if no one knows you're involved. What do you say? Think you could work with him as we investigate? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for free. Though, it would be nice. Wait just a second. I'm going to get you a little incentive from the back. Here we go. Ta-da! The full set of froggy armor. With that on, it's easy to cling to wet surfaces, no sleeping. That's so nice to get. Oh. You work with Pen to chase down all these news stories, then I'll give you this armor, piece by piece. This will be a quest line we prioritize, because I hate climbing wet surfaces. <laughs> a pretty good deal there, Link. Anyway, that's my offer. Hey! Pen, you can come back in. Starting now, this guy is your partner. Huh. Well, if our editor here says you're in, then looks like you... I had... I had you sized up right. Tracy knows how to pick them. Ah. Alright, you two. Here's what you're going to do. Visit every stable for leads. Pen, you, you'll head... <clears throat> you'll head this all up. Stable bring in people. And people bring details. And details are what we need. Now get me some news. She drives a hard bargain. But this set, dude, I need it. I need it today, please. Okay, so now we have a side quest called... 
What exactly? <laughs> Aren't these done because they are like that? Ah, here, side adventures, not a quest. Uh, here, visit every stable. Okay, we can do that. And that's gonna take some time to finish. So, so it's good, because getting this whole set, like, if we would have gotten it now, it would be way too early in the game. That's such a bad shit, but let's take it, I guess. And who are you? Yes, it's time to collect some wood. No kindling shortcuts. My Highland Pinecone Mishap taught me that. Gotta do the work and chop down trees. Hmm. Oh, welcome. This is Rito Stable? No, it's not. It's the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm sorry. Old habits die hard. Harder than stable still, clearly. Um, I just do odd jobs, so if you have business with the Lucky Clover Gazette, please ask somebody inside. Oh. Perhaps due to the abnormal weather, there, there's been an explosive increase in Highland pine cones. They're very oily on the inside and burn really well. Too well, in fact. I tried tossing one onto the fire for kindling, and it went up too violently. It created a whirlwind, which in turn sent all of the freshly printed newspaper flying far, far away. I'm supposed to be helping the Lucky Clover Gazette, and that was very much the op op opposite of helping. This place was once a stable, and I was the owner, but when that terrible cold weather rolled up, it froze up our business along with the rest of Hebra. Which is why the stable closed down, and the Lucky Clo Clover Gazette brought out the place shortly after. Bought out the place. I thought I tried to help out around here for a while. It's not like I have anywhere else to go. But it's a lot of work. I'm not used to. And I'm still sort of fumbling through learning it all. Okay. I thought you would provide me with some more fun details. The archives are closed. Check back later. Is this also the archives? Yeah. Which table first? You tell me, dude. Okay, listen up, partner. We're on the trail of the truth about Princess Zelda. We can't let even the smallest clue slip through our talons, our, on, or hands in your case. We should visit as many stables as we can. Travelers always have plenty of going on to talk about. So long. So long, so long. But we're gonna backtrack to that quest line a bit later. Can we break these? Can. There's just water. Okay. Rito village. And that's where we're going. The bright... The bridge is busted. Aww. Let me guess. You have business in Rito village as well? Well, sorry to disappoint you, but the bridge is down. There's no way to cross. Since the newspaper ran an article about the Rito food shortage, supply shipments have started to arrive, which is great. But with no bridge, there's no way to transport the goods to the Rito. I'm at my wit's end here. Let's help them. And since the sun is refusing to show its face, it's cold. I might throw another Highland Pinecone on the fire. Those things burn hot. Last time I stoked the fire with one, it caused a gust of wind that made my bangs all frizzy. Recently, that guy Gali tossed one onto the fire next to the newspaper. Yeah, I've heard that. The papers they got caught up in... The papers, they got caught up in a gust of wind and flew all the way to Rito Village. That's no way to treat the written word. Do they want me to throw pinecone in there? Because I'd do it. If I have one, that will... <laughs> I should have one, right? There, pinecone. Ah, 
I'm gonna back up. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a fail. There we go. <laughs> now you get some more warmth. Like I can build a bridge with the trees, I guess, but I'm not sure if that's the thing you should do. Probably you will get a quest line and fix the, the bridge. So let's just... Visit the village first. I like the music in this area. It's a bit more dark and impactful, I think. But the sound is <clears throat> the sound design have been top tier overall. I was expecting something more fun, maybe. But arrows, you can never have too many of. It's crazy that this place is cold nowadays, because if I remember correctly, in Breath of the Wild, this was a regular place. Like, neither hot or cold. Oh, here we have a praying station. But we are one one short. Yeah. Here's some... We're about to practice our song. It's called Song of the Stormwind Ark. We're all going to sing it together to save our village from the upheaval. Are you gonna listen to our song, mister? Sure, why not? Yay, we love an audience, so we'll give it our best for you. Everyone ready? One, and two, and... I'm not gonna sing, I'm gonna read this. Once a god f fell from heaven, stilling the Hebra winds. The heaven grew lifeless, just as the air below thinned. With the world in upheaval, we pledge to help the Lord. A line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to, he to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its wind brought us new life, thanks to its great divine spark. That's a great song. Oh. You know, this song is about the ark that saved Rita village a long, long time ago. Something bad happened here, just like it's happening now. Something bad happened then. Hey, that's Stormwind Ark. Is it real? I'd be so happy if it was. It defi definitely is. Papa told me it always watching over us, high in the sky. Oh. We could sure use its help with this awful blizzard. Most of the adults here... Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. Ah. Well, if we don't have the Ark and we don't have the adults, it's up to us kids to take care of the village. Have the adults just left all the kids here by themselves in the cold? That's, that's a bit morbid. And brutal. Uh, practice is over for the today. Gently, you're in charge of food. It seems like it. And Molly, we'll need you to make arrows. We all got jobs to do, so let's do them. That's sad. Yay! Kid power! No. That's so sad. Why is it only children here? Oh no, I did it again. The beds are too soft and inviting. A customer who's sleeping. I wasn't sleeping, not me. Welcome to the swa Swallows Roost Inn. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. A regular bed is 20 and a silky soft read to down bed is 50. Let's buy the more expensive one just to, to support these children. <laughs> they, they need all the help they can get. Didn't sound like a good bed. They, they must be like freezing hard. Hi. 
Nice. Morning, mister. How about that silky soft Rito down bed, huh? Well, take care. Enjoy your money. I hope that helped for something. Is it a shrine over here? It is. So I'm gonna jump down and do it. So we can unlock just uh, quick travel as well. That's mainly why I do it now. Can it be that this is a uh, Koroko seed? Yeah. It wasn't. Ride the winds. So we have the perfect clothes. Clothes for this. Yeah, nice. Okay. Nice. Oh, I see. I wonder... I wanna land here for a quick second. I just wanted to see so I didn't uh, miss the... The chest somehow. There is the chest. Boom. Bye bye. <laughs> Let's drop. Let's just make it easy for us. And the same here. Boom. And three headshots. Those I want. That bow I do not want. Same here. Arrows, always nice. Maybe we should look where we're going. That's it. Nice. Now we have force, we should go down and pray. We have that station so near. Now I think our cold resistance is running out. Yeah. Just quickly. We maybe even don't need to climb. We need a cooking station so I can just do some more cold resistant food. So here I guess we're gonna take a heart container this time. Some more evil left our body. Thank you for that life. Go and bring peace to the world. I will try. And also let's boost their economy by shopping in their store. Hi. Full tummies makes for happy Rito. That's why I like learning new meals out of the recipe book. I saw one in there that I know everyone would love. <laughs> A fish pie made of staminoka bass. Doesn't that sound yummy? Problem is, I can't leave the village to catch a staminoka bass. Thanks to this dumb blizzard. I have everything else. 
Tabanta, wheat, goat butter, rock salt. Aww. But if I'm gonna make a fish pie, I need the fish. I need Staminuka bass. Do we have that? Don't think so. Where is the fishies? Do I even have any fish? Or have I used them all? I have one and that's the glowy, glowy cave fish. Okay. Can we examine this recipe book? First you want to buy goat butter here. Simply cook goat butter and an apple together and the hot buttered apple is complete. Makes sense. Nut cake. Some ingredients, some ingredients may be in the short supply due to the blizzard. We appreciate your patience as we restock. Stock. First you want to buy Tabanta wheat, goat butter and cane sugar here to Slippery Falcon. Toss these three ingredients in a pot alongside your favorite type of nut to make nut cake. And for an added kick, try substituting the nut with something else. An apple is a good starting point for experimenting in with. And fish pie we already read. I'm not gonna remember those recipes. And why not buy all these things? Hi. I'll buy them all. Whoa. And let's buy this also. I'll buy the, all the oil. And I'll buy all the arrows. Thank you for your business. I don't want to sell to you because you <laughs> you need all the money that you have. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, we need that. So where can we cook? Can we cook nearby here? I've already forgotten the recipes. <laughs> and this is what? This is a store for clothes. Oh, oh. Damn. We would actually need that. Thank you for coming, even though it's snowing this hard, but it's even colder on the top of the mountain. You'll freeze solid at the peak if you don't find a way to keep warm. Lucky like for you, we sell warm clothes. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna sell some things here. Ignore what I said earlier that I don't want to sell to the children. <laughs> In dire need, I need the cash. Let's sell them all. This as well. And this as well. And I'm thinking I have pants that are cold resistance. No, I didn't read what she said. Hi. Nearby cave caves. Okay. She said or sink caves, I guess. Was my bad not reading. Because uh, these pants are already cold resistance. You can only have two cold resistance as maximum. So do we want the tunic or the headpiece? Let's take the headpiece. Because I like the flying tunic. Sure, I can change when we're here, but... I guess that's nice. But I'm not sure how two, like, earrings... <laughs> Can provide cold resistance, but sure. Ah, here is the cooking thingy. Ugh. Oh. If I even... If I could have a great memory. It would have been so much easier. But didn't they say something... I don't wanna sit, I wanna... Okay. Uh, ingredients, ingredients, ingredients. They said something about goat butter, sugar cane, your favorite nut, and was it also oil? That's right. 
It was no oil. Me and my bad memory, huh? Now we have to run back and read. Uh, nut cake. Wheat, goat butter, and cane sugar. We don't have the wheat, I guess. Or do we have any wheat? I don't think so, no. So we could do something else, maybe? Hot buttered apple, goat butter, and apple. Adding a spicy pepper. Okay. So we can do one recipe from the book today. Better than nothing, I guess. So... Goat butter and apple. Boom. And cook. Hot buttered apple. Yay! And now let's see when the cold resistant wear off, if... This outfit is, en outfit is enough. <laughs> Looks like it is. It's really dark that it's only children left in this cold town. <laughs> like where did all the adults go and why did they leave their children? A bit sussy. It frees them solid. Hmm, how about this one? Huh, you need something, mister? Cause I'm actually kind of busy. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monsters so solid. Which gave me, an, give, gave me an amazing idea for an invention. My problem is, I can't go out and pick fruit right now, with the blizzard and all. Uh, it's not fair. This is the best invention I've come up with in so long. But without ice fruit, I can't make it. Molly, the Fletcher quest. Huh? Huh, mister? I felt a cold breeze coming from your pouch. Huh? No way! What's that stuff you got? That's cold jelly-like stuff. Is that white choo-choo jelly from one of the monsters that freeze you solid if you touch huh? it? It is? Wow, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but I bet I can use that to make my big invention. Oops, I almost forgot. Manners. May I please have one, sir? Of course. <coughs> Yay, now I can finally make my invention. When I attach this to the tip of an arrow, I'll have an arrow that can freeze monsters from far away. Sometimes I'm so smart, I scare myself a little. I wonder what you could happen... What would happen with other materials? You could make arrows with all sorts of effects. Wow, listen to me. With... With every breath, I spew out brilliance. <sighs> but I should probably stop talking before I give away all my best ideas. Anyway, here's a thanks for the present. <gasps> Thank you. You know the reason I like making arrows? It's my papa. He created the strongest bow around. I wanted to make arrows that go perfectly with his bow. All I have to do is keep working hard, getting my name out there, and one day... <gasps> I'll be the world famous arrow maker. One my papa can be proud of. That's sad. And your papa left you here in the cold? So I'm not sure if you should make him proud. Do it for yourself instead. I'm not gonna take your arrows. That just feels rude. Or maybe your papa is there. Sorry for trash talking your papa. He's the only adult left in this town. Nothing? We're gonna go and talk to them very soon here. And then I guess this episode will come to an end, unfortunately. Because now we've been on for around an hour. Nice. And... Nothing, huh? Nope. What is this? It's the jumping platform. Feels like something should be on the top of this mountain also. That's not fair at all! You know I can handle it! Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone! <sighs> if we don't do anything, the village... Huh? Huh? Is 
that you? It is. It is you! Link! Tulin, I think he was in Breath of the Wild as well. That name sounds... Um, mm. I recognize the name. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Tiba. New Rito Elder. <gasps> it's very nice to see you again. Do you remember my son Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Well, maybe if... Maybe if I... Maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatching all the time. As long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. What? You think I can't? I'm already fully fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. I believe in you, Tulin. You all can keep wasting your time treating the song of the Stormwing Ark like it's real, but not to me. Listen, you. Damn, that's some teenage rebellion. Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing no. He mentioned a song. It's an old folk song here in Rito village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that has been passed down through generations. Hmm. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if... As... Few adults still par parrot it as if it was true. Still, every now and then, when you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship, combine that with the blizzard caused by the upheaval and it seems less far-fetched. I like his bow on the back, I want it. Even if the song of Stormwind, Stormwind Ark is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high up in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly... But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. This is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth. But Tulin? He thinks we cling to the song out of co cowardness. Huh. But these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? I wanna help you as well if I can. What? This is terrible news. So then, not even Hyrule Castle is safe? If Princess Zelda disa if Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow? Hmm. We Rito would ord ordinarily ordinarily <laughs> We Rito would the word I can't pronounce, love to contribute to your search. But this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping, and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out and researching the blizzard or scavenging the for food. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much, much since becoming the village elder. Hmm. I wish there was something I could do. Huh. Ah, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many resources of information, so he might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires out that way? Hmm. He's in the lodge near there. If you like, if you like to try visiting him, that will be everything we have time for today in this episode. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. We did a lot in this hour. Please like this video and comment what you think about this game so far. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss the next episode when I upload that. This has been 23. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.